beautiful story comes to my mind. And every time I go to Medina Munawwara and I see this, this place, tears begin to well in my eyes when I remember what happened that day when Rasulullah was with Mu'adh ibn Jabal. And Mu'adh ibn Jabal was a very close companion to the Prophet. In fact, in many ahadith, the Prophet mentions his love for Mu'adh as Mu'adh had an upper hand with the people of Yemen. So the Prophet chose Mu'adh to be a governor in Yemen and to go to, to, uh, sorry, to be a teacher in Yemen and to go to Yemen and teach the people about Islam. So the Prophet ﷺ tells Mu'adh, Mu'adh, I have chosen you to be that very teacher, to go to Yemen. And the Prophet ﷺ, on the day that Mu'adh is leaving Medina Munawwara, walks with Mu'adh. He walks with Mu'adh from the, the vicinity of Medina Munawwara with the animal that Mu'adh will ride. He walks with Mu'adh from the masjid to the outskirts of Medina Munawwara. Today, if you go and visit that very place where Rasulullah ﷺ walked up to with Mu'adh, you will notice a roundabout and on it a gate and they call it the gate of Medina Munawwara, the entry to Medina. And at this very point, Rasulullah turns and looks at Mu'adh and they've had a beautiful conversation from the masjid up to this, this area. And believe me, this was quality time. This was time that Mu'adh had spent with Rasulullah on a personal level. And you will know this, that every Sahabi, every companion felt he was the closest to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Every companion used to feel that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the pinnacle in his life. Every companion felt that they could turn to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for anything and everything. You imagine Mu'adh walking with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in this wonderful relationship with Rasulullah. He walks to the outskirts of Medina and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam turns and he says, Ya Mu'adh, he says, Asa Allah talqani ba'da ami hadha. He says, Ya Mu'ad, we will not meet again after this year, Ya Mu'ad. Imagine, imagine the feeling that Mu'ad would have had at that moment when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is telling a man that these guys would die for. Every companion would die for Rasulullah. Every companion would want to be in front of Rasulullah when spears, when arrows were were being thrown at him, just like Talha radiallahu anhu at the time of Uhud, when he was walking to Uhud and they were guarding Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was singing a poem, he was saying, al wajhu li wajhika al wiqa'u, that Ya Rasulullah, today my face for your face is a shield. And every time an arrow or a spear was thrown at Rasulullah, Talha would jump, he would catch it in his body, he became a human shield for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This was the love of the companions. Imagine Mu'adh on that day when Rasulullah says to him, that, oh, Mu'ad, I don't think we will meet again after this year. Imagine what Mu'ad felt like. Mu'ad was going hundreds of miles away from, from Medina Munawwara, away from Rasulullah, away from the beloved. These men could not bear a morning away from Rasulullah, let alone thousands of miles and years. And then the Prophet says to him, that, oh, Mu'ad, when you return, what you will find is my masjid and my grave. And Mu'adh begins to cry. Mu'adh begins to cry, Ya Rasulullah, is this the last time that I will see you? Is this it? And the Prophet ﷺ begins to cry, knowing that Rasulullah will never see Mu'adh again. And when Mu'adh gets onto his ride and begins to ride, he cries his journey to Yemen, knowing that the eyes that Allah had bestowed to him had seen Rasulullah for the very last time. When Mu'adh returned, he came and he saw the masjid of Rasulullah. He saw the grave of Rasulullah. He no longer saw Rasulullah. This was a man who was hurt, a man who was in pain. These were all subtle indications towards the fact that Rasulullah would no longer be amongst the Muslims.